time slows for a moment and the air becomes thicker. Thought so. The master of the house is coming. Thought so. You. Yes, it's us. Okay. There are many things in your world that I loathe. Litters of kittens, chattering children, the noise, and the chaos of it all. You flatter me. In my me. world, in my house, mm -hmm. there is order, and there is decorum. Uh -huh. You came here uninvited, and you stole from me. Just like In you do with your victims. So, you brought the chaos of your world into mine. Mm -hmm. I will not abide it. It's over, Raphael. I'm not entirely sure that he won't. Oh, Hope. You are such a piteous thing. All it takes is a crumb from the table and you forget the centuries of starvation. This insolence has earned you centuries more. Carilla, tell our unwelcome guest about your role in their tragic downfall. I permitted you the freedom to decide your own fate. You could have been smart, selfless, saved the world. Instead, you came here and risked everything. Yes. It's the fatal flaw of mortal kind. Take away their free will and they call you a tyrant. Allow them to indulge it and they become tyrants. You would have been heroes if you'd only dealt fairly with me. Instead, you're not so different to doomed Cassus, overreaching your limits and burning your world to ash. Cute. Wrong, wrong, wrong! They will save their world and smash you to smithereens. It's this charming naivety that makes your company such a joy to me, Hope. I'll even forgive this little rebellion once your right. just dies. This isn't a rebellion. It's a revolt. I'm revolting! Mm -hmm. <laughs> then Hope dies today. Commander, you can salvage a trophy from these insects when I'm done with them. These insects struck me down beneath the Shadowlands. They are worthy opponents. Their skulls will make fine trophies. Oh my freaking god. So, does the persuasion do anything? I know it's hard, but sometimes it doesn't really make a change it doesn't really make a difference sometimes but let's see to stand against a devil in his own home hmm. that takes courage i'm with you how tiresome am i to understand that you wish to die with them i wish to fight with them it's all the same in the end if you have any last words make it quick it will only take a moment to finish you. Eh, my last words. If I die, Baldur's Gate is doomed. Such a shame. I'll make sure you live long enough to watch it burn. And whether it takes a hundred years or a thousand, the crown will be mine eventually. My time will come. Your time Let's see how difficult this fight is going to be. Little Mouse. Now, down comes the claw. I have two Elixir of Vigilance. I'm not sure how much of that is going to help in this battle, but anything can help. Lives Jump! For the music is so loud.
here. It's over the final act, your doom. No more grace. It's over this house of hope. This is so loud. All the pillars have been destroyed. I don't think this fight is gonna be over yet. No. Get to use our animal form again.
Forgotten the cause, curtain falls, but hold your applause. For now, down here come the claws. 27 minutes and 49 seconds later. All right, Halson, you finish him. It's absolutely preposterous that any of us are alive. Yeah. That we were not. Pinch yourself and check we're not dreaming the last of our lives as we die screaming. Sure, I'll pinch myself. <laughs> you are wide awake. And Raphael truly is defeated. We're fine, Hope. We did it after all that. Then we're not just fine, we're spectacular. What a wonderful, jubilant, glorious day. Huh? But my poor sister, Carilla. It is not right that she died. And that makes me want to weep an ocean. Well, she made her choice when she slaved with Raphael in the first place, unfortunately. She was an entire person before she ever made that choice. When we were children, she always kept the last piece of pastry for me and bloodied the nose of the bullies who pulled my hair. She was my sister. But as a wise woman once said, there's no point in crying over spilt blood. We must go on. And despite all the years I've lost, I have enough love in my heart to guide you home. For the first time since you heard her voice, hope seems calm, and the peace flows from her into you, soothing your very soul. You should come with me. And go where? I don't think I quite know how to be anywhere else but here anymore. With a lick of paint and a thorough cleaning, this could be a lovely little house. And I can hardly leave. After all, who would ever want to think of hell without hope? I hope I'll see Carilla again one day, and that she'll say sorry, and I'll tell her she's forgiven. I hope I find all the pieces of my mind that fell out of my head over all those years, and that I'll be able to put myself back together again. I hope the echoes of pain will fade, and memories of sorrow will die, and that you'll visit me here someday. And I hope you have a happy ending of your own.